Can your phone do this? Or this? How about this? Well, with the same iPhone 1, buy nothing, you can all do that. Oh, did I tell you you can change colors too? Like this, this, and this. So peeps, early Vigatech, tech, and today we'd like to talk more about the CMF by Nothing Phone One. With the hundreds of phones we review each year, very few would excite us as much as this one. The CMF Phone One isn't really modular like the LG G5 or the Moto Z2 Play, but more customizable. When was the last time you were able to take off the back panel of your phone and replace it with a new one? The CMF Phone 1 allows you to exactly do just that. Simply take off the screws at the back, twist, and remove the keycap. Peel out the plastic back cover and slap a brand new one in its place. You can even pick another color if you want, and they have plenty of options for you to choose from. And that's not all, they have other screw-in attachments as well. Like this nifty kickstand so you can watch your favorite videos or stream movies with ease. Or this magnetic card holder that converts the back of your phone into a nice little wallet for your credit cards. Or how about hooking it up to a matching lanyard, like this one. The trick behind this customization actually is pretty simple. Aside from the four screws that came with each alternate back panel, there's a screw cap at the bottom right corner of the phone. This allows you to easily switch out and attach a new module to the phone, and it's quick and very easy. That's a lot of custom attachments to start with and we're hoping that CMF will come out with new ones very soon. We also have a few ideas in mind to make this setup more useful. So let's talk more about what's under the hood. Powering the CMF Phone 1 is a MediaTek Dimensity 7300 chipset. This is paired with 8GB of RAM plus up to 8GB of RAM extension and 256GB of internal storage. There's a hybrid micro SD card slot together with SIM 2 tray which has a maximum capacity of 2TB but 256GB seems fairly enough for a phone in this category. Category. The Dimensity 7300 is a fairly new chipset and is the same one that is used by the OPPO Reno 12 series. The 8GB plus 256GB config is fairly basic but is enough to handle most of your needs. The phone feels snappy and fast, the nothing OS 2.6 feels light and battery smooth. That signature monochromatic user interface looks cool but it could take some time to get used to identify the icons and apps. Aside from that, we like it a lot. Performance is fairly decent, we're able to play most of the popular games with ease although the more graphic intensive ones like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail would require to crank down the settings to low or medium. If you're a Mobile Legends player, you can set this up to ultra settings and enjoy the game at full graphics. In our synthetic benchmark test, the CMF Phone 1 scored a decent 648,000 points in a 2-2 benchmark. The rest of the benchmark results should appear on your screen now. Next, let's talk about the display. The phone has a fairly large 6.67-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels and a variable refresh rate of either 60Hz to save on power or 120Hz for smoother graphics. The display looks good, colors are great, you get deep blacks and high contrast, but those bezels though are as thick as bacon chops. There's an under-display fingerprint sensor which is fast and accurate, or you can switch to face unlock if you want it quicker. There's a 16 megapixel punch hole camera up front for taking selfies, but we'll get to that later. For audio, you only have a single down firing speaker at the bottom end, along with a USB Type C port and the SIM card slot. Sound quality is okay or average, if you will, quite loud actually, but nothing to write home about. The other buttons and ports are in their usual place. For a phone with a removable back cover, the CMF Phone is actually not too thick nor too heavy at all. The plastic body doesn't feel cheap nor easily scratchable. At the back, the camera is encased in a silver metallic module. Speaking of the camera, don't be fooled with these two lenses, that's just one single camera in there. A 50 megapixel Sony sensor at the top with a dedicated portrait sensor at the bottom. The main camera takes really good photos, although some are a little on the more saturated side. As you can see in our sample shots here, the photos have good detail, great contrast, and on the more vibrant end. We noticed though that some photos have software-assisted blurring to give you a sense of depth. However, the sensor made a mistake in identifying the subject, so as you can see in this example, some parts are the building were unceremoniously blurred out, which should not have been. We think a simple software update will fix this bug in a future release. The camera can also record videos of up to 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. Recorded videos are good and stabilized, clean and crisp, although you can a little oversaturation the colors and some details are lost around the corners. So this is another example of the 4K video using the CMF Phone 1's rear camera and I'm inside our A-Roll room. 
so far the quality is good enough but what do you think the front camera also take decent selfie shots here's another clip using the front facing camera looks okay to us but what do you think is this good enough for a selfie shooter for connectivity, we have support for Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, GPS, and dual band 5G from the dual nano SIM card. Again, that's two nano SIM cards with a second SIM tray that can support a micro SD card up to 2 terabytes. The phone packs a sizable 5000 mAh battery. You can actually see that battery when you take out the back cover. It also supports fast wire charging of 33 watts and reverse wire charging of 5 watts. The phone is very efficient in terms of battery life. With moderate use, it could last you well over a day and maybe half a day more. In our proprietary battery test, the phone lasted 30 hours and 14 minutes, doing a video loop of a full HD movie at 50% brightness, zero volume, and in airplane mode. With our PC Mark battery test, the phone also lasted an impressive 16 hours and 8 minutes running under the same condition. As for the gameplay battery life, we played a few ranked games on Mobile Legends via Wi-Fi at 50% brightness and 50% volume. The phone lasted way longer than we thought, 9 hours and 58 minutes. These are all pretty good results for a phone in this category, so props to CMF for making this phone as optimized as possible. As mentioned earlier, since CMF is under nothing, the phone ran on the latest Nothing OS 2.6 based on Android 14. Pretty much has the same monochromatic look and feels as the one we've used in the Phone 1, 2, and 2A. Props to CMF for skipping the bloatwares on this phone. Nothing also promises up to 2 years of major Android update and 3 years of security updates for the CMF Phone 1. During the course of this review, we recorded 2 software updates on the phone and immediately applied them. As of recording this video, I think they've already addressed that bug with the image effects we experienced earlier. When we look back at all of these fancy tricks that the CMF Phone 1 can make, we kind of pause and think, rather ask the question, are these necessary and practical? Do they add value to the users? What's the long-term play? Well, only you can answer these questions. But if you ask us, what we can say is, it is fun. We needed something new, even if it's as simple as having an interchangeable back cover. As long as these additions and attachments aren't too expensive, I'm sure it'll be a hit. Perhaps the only drawback here is that because of the removable cover, the CMF Phone 1 is only rated for IP52, the lowest we've ever seen in any modern smartphone. Will that be a deal breaker? Nah, we don't think so. Mod props to CMF and Nothing Phone for making smartphones exciting again. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with us when we say that this phone is brilliant? Do leave a comment in the section down below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you wouldn't miss any of our future uploads. Don't forget to follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. And visit our website, www.yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Earl and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!